Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a traffic court in Kansas, where a defendant who has a history of traffic issues is uh, in a preliminary hearing on whether or not he wants to represent himself in court. Want to take a wild guess as to what he has to say about that? And bear in mind, this guy is uh, not your average Salvatore. He doesn't exactly uh, interrupt the judge or anything like that, but completely inadvisable to go pro se anyway. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, this is State of Kansas versus Ian Crane. It's in the District Court of Rooks County, Kansas. The case number is 23 MR 34. Mr. Crane, it looks like you were arrested for battery on John Sweeney and interference with a law enforcement officer the other day. Um, do you have an attorney? Uh, no. Can you afford an attorney? <laughs> I won't need one. Look, I know what you're right as a citizen of the United States to represent yourself in a court of law, but that's not exactly advisable, even if you feel like you're a sovereign citizen or not. I mean, you've got people who are professionals at this and will uh, argue you under a table in a court. I like to represent myself. Okay. So right now you're not charged with anything. You're just being held on probable cause. Um, do they have a bond set for you already? No, sir. Not that I'm aware of. What's the state's position as far as a bond? Benita, have we received a case file on that yet? Trish? No. Um, I do not have witness statements yet on it. Um, all obviously we have is a 48. It does look like a misdemeanor battery and a, which would likely be a misdemeanor interference with law enforcement as well. My concern is that Mr. Crane pops up on our radar somewhat often with issues. Issues, just like any other sovereign citizen who thinks they can represent themselves pro se. In fact, there's a old saying that goes with that. A man who represents himself in a court of law has a fool for a client. And, of course, many sovereign citizens that do get caught are very much that foolish. In fact, I would say close to 100% of them. Um, I do think he's somewhat of a public safety risk. I don't think he's so much of a flight risk as he's been local for some time now. I don't know if he's working right now or employed. Um, I think in the past, when we've had him, he works kind of intermittently when there's um, work to be done. I mean, I think I I would typically say a thousand dollar bond, but given his past, um, I don't know if maybe a five thousand dollar bond would be more appropriate. I I don't know though that there's between a one thousand dollar bond and a five thousand dollar bond if that protects the safety of the public anymore, but. What's your position, Mr. Crane, on bond? Um, would that be that in a percentage? I'm not 100%. I'm not real good with the whole bond thing. Um, and I don't know if you would even consider doing a bond hearing after um, the state uh, is obviously not too for sure on their side. Um, so if you kind of intervene and get involved with that, maybe I'd have a better understanding. Um, is that like a direct, like 5,000, a direct thousand, or is that a percentage off of that? Is that the, the percentage? It would be a cash or commercial bond. Okay. Dude, dude, this is exactly why you need a lawyer to begin with, because they can guide you through this kind of thing. I mean, these are easy questions for any lawyer to answer i mean just general stuff for them just everyday stuff so if you want to risk your freedom because of your own stupidity go right ahead um i can understand that part and i understand how the state wants to not really 
have that open right now. Um, that being said, um, I, yeah, I don't really know what to say after that. Okay. Well, why there are reports in other MR cases, there hasn't been anything actually filed. So I'm going to set your bond at a thousand dollars cash or commercial. Thank you. Are you going to be able to make that you think? Um, you know, I could probably make anything right now. Um, the thing is, is I just don't have good communication with outside. Um, I, Well, here's what I'm going to do. If you're still in jail um, on the 17th, they'll have to have charges filed by 10 o'clock on the 17th. And then we'll have a court date on the 18th at 1.30 if you're still in jail. Yeah. You said 1.30 on the 18th would be the bond hearing? Yeah, on, and 17th of July by 10 is when you have to have charges filed. Okay. You're not to have any contact with John Slaney or Robert Connolly, and you're not to possess or consume illegal drugs or alcohol while you're on bond and you're subject to random testing. So if law enforcement sees you out and tests, you have to do it or else they can revoke your bond right there and take you back to jail. Yeah. You have any questions? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, um, I will get the journal entry down to the sheriff's department then. So, Your Honor, um, just real quick, I noticed you have John, Robert Connolly, but Marlene Morgan was not listed. Is she is a witness in this case? Um, as was Robert Connolly, with I believe John Sweeney being the victim. Is she included? As I witness? haven't listed her because I I know that they've had a relationship at one time. So I don't. Sure, know. I just want to where he lives, um, anything like that. So I'm assuming you haven't heard anything from anybody in this case, so you don't know what anybody's I, asking for. I have not. Okay. Do you have to have contact with Marlene Morgan, Mr. Crane? Um, again, um, the, with the whole contact thing, um, I think it's, I mean, that would be your guys' call. Okay, then you don't have to have any contact with her either. That's fine. Okay, I will get this down to the jail so they have it for you. Thank you. And that's where the video pretty much ends right there. Not the worst sovereign system I've ever seen. Certainly more polite than other ones I've seen. But it was mentioned that he does have a long history with traffic issues and all that other good stuff. And so, well, we probably got a sovereign citizen on here, but not a very vocal one at the very least. But going pro se is definitely a sure sign that he's a sovereign citizen because nearly all sovereign citizens end up going pro se in their court cases, which it is his right to do so, but not exactly entirely advisable. Good luck on that, dude. At any rate... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, albeit a short and to the point one. So I will see you on the next one.